Good morning everyone! Today we are going to study another scientific concept. Today, we'll study scientific notation. Before we start, I would like to ask you, what is the weight of the earth? Definitely, the weight of the earth is as big as 1, 3, 0, 0, 0, and too much zeros. And the unit is pound, if we are going to use pound. It is really difficult if we are going to write and write and write this big or huge number. Therefore, today, we are going to study scientific notation. By the way, what is a scientific notation? Scientific notation is also known as the exponential notation. It was developed to represent numbers that are either very large or very small. And scientific notation is written in general form as r times 10 raised to n. So r times 10 raised to n, in here, r is the coefficient. The coefficient must be greater than or equal to 1 but less than 10. How about 10? 10 is the base. This number is constant. And the third one is n. n is the exponent. This number is the power of 10. It is either positive or negative. For example, the given is 1.8 times 10 raised to 5. What is the coefficient in the given? The coefficient is 1.8. How about the base? So the base is 10. As what I have told you earlier, the base is constant. What is the exponent? The exponent is 5. So in this given, the exponent is positive. What do you think is the difference between 9.3 times 10 raised to 5 and 9.3 times 10 raised to negative 5? So the coefficients of the two quantities are the same, but their exponents are different. The first one is positive 5, and then the second one is negative 5. 9.3 times 10 raised to 5 is equal to 930,000, while 9.3 times 10 raised to negative 5 is equal to 0 0.000093. Meaning to say, if the exponent is positive, it is a big number, while if the exponent is negative, it is extremely small number. Let's go back again to my question earlier. What is the weight of the earth? So if we are going to express our answer into scientific notation, the answer is 1.3 times 10 raised to 25 pounds. So meaning to say, scientific notation is the convenient way of writing or expressing a very large or a very small number. Another example is one seven zero 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 and so much zeros if we are going to express this big quantity into scientific notation it is equivalent to 1.7 times 10 raised to 21 why 21 because if you are going to count the number of movements it is equivalent to 21 let's try so does the decimal point is here so let's count one two three and then six nine twelve fifteen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one because based from the rule of scientific notation the decimal point should be placed after the first non-zero number so therefore, the equivalent of this big number or big quantity is 1.7 times 10 raised to 21. Let's have another example. 
If you are going to convert this one into scientific notation, the equivalent of this number is 3 times 10 raised to 8 meters per second. Another example is 1,680,000. If we are going to convert 1,680,000, it is equivalent to 1.68 times 10 raised to 6. Because if you are going to count, there are 6 places or 6 movements. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Therefore, the exponent is 6. Another example is this big number. 7, 1, 4, 8, and 6 zeros. If we are going to convert this into scientific notation, it is equivalent to 7.148 times 10 raised to 9. I would like you to get your paper and pencil. And I will give you 2 minutes to answer the practice test. Okay, stop writing. We'll check your answers later. Let's now proceed to a very small number. This one is an example of a decimal number with so much zeros. If you are going to convert this small number into scientific not notation, it is equivalent to 6.0230 times 10 raised to negative 23. Why negative 23? Because if you are going to count the number of movements or the number of places, it is equal to 23. Let's try. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, so 23 movements or 23 places. Therefore, the exponent is negative 23. Another example is 0 0.0000011. If we are going to convert this one into scientific notation, it is equivalent to 1.83 times 10 raised to negative 5. 
Moving on to the next example, we have 0 0.0002 for zero. If you are going to convert this into scientific notation, you can have 2.40 times 10 raised to 4 or you can also have 2.4 times 10 raised to negative 4. What is the difference between the two answers? So the first one is 2.40 and 2.40 has three significant figures while 2.4 has two significant figures only. It depends on your teacher. I would like you to get your paper and pen and answer the practice test. I will give you two minutes to answer the test. Okay, time is up. Let's now proceed to the scientific notation and then you are going to convert it into numerical notation or into the standard notation. The given is 1.4 times 10 raised to 5. So if the exponent is positive, it will give you a big answer. So 1.4 times 10 raised to 5 is equivalent to 140,000. The decimal point is here and you need to count 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's have another example. 9.32 times 10 raised to 7. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Therefore, the answer is 93,200,000. Another example is 5.09 times 10 raised to negative 6. If the exponent is negative, it will give you a very small or extremely small number. So the exponent is negative 6, so you need to move the decimal point to the left. How many times? 6 times. Therefore, the answer is 0 0.00000509. Next, the given is 1.83 times 10 raised to negative 2. So the answer is... 0 0.0183 Get again your paper and answer the practice test.
I will give you two minutes. Okay, stop writing. Now, we are going to convert scientific notation into the standard scientific notation. As you can see, the given is not properly expressed into the standard scientific notation. The given here is 178.3 times 10 raised to 7. Based from the rule, the decimal point should be placed after the first number. And the first number here is 1. So, the decimal point should be placed after 1. And it should be 1.783 times 10 raised to 9. Why raised to 9? It is because you moved the decimal point 2 times, so therefore, you need to add 2 to the exponent. 1, 2, plus 2, and 7 plus 2, will give you 